Hello everyone, I am Benicia and myself Arisa. We study in class 10th and belong to the family of St. Francis, Francis Xavier High School, Makassar. We welcome you all for this auspicious day of National Science in this year of 2021. Let's have a flashback of the life of Sasevi Raman. Well, India has a great heritage of science and technology from the ancient era Many scientists, mathematicians, astronomers, and medical experts like Aryabhata, Kannar, Brahmaputra, Bhaskaracharya, Nagarjuna, Shushruta, Charaka, and, and much more have contributed their work to progression of science and technology in India. In the 21st century, India is rapidly progressing to reach the peaks of the science and technology fields in the world. We are now even trying to combat the deadly COVID-19 virus. Many Indian scientists have gathered global recognition by their work and Indian physicist Sir Chandra Shekara, Venkata Raman, yes, Sir C. V. Raman is one of them. Sir C. V. Raman invented the Raman effect, which studied the scattering of light in liquids, solids and gases. For this tremendous invention, he received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930. Hence, to this success, the government of India decided to celebrate the day on 28 February as National Science Day from 1999. So, the first National Science Day of India was celebrated on 28 February 1999. Let us now pay a rich tribute to Sir Sivir Raman by gardening his portrait and proceed with the Dia Lightning. Let us praise the God of knowledge. May our minds be enlightened to contribute a bit to make science and technology better every coming day.
We now inaugurate the National Science Day by releasing the special wallpaper with this year's theme of celebration. Future of science, technology and innovation impacts on education skills and work. Hey, do you all want to know about the theme of National Science Day 2021? Yes, here it is. Watch our friends from Class 9, Feliston Carvalho, giving inputs on future of science, technology and innovation, impacts on education, skills and work. Hello friends, myself Felicia Carvalho, a class 9 student and I am here to brief you on the year's theme of National Science Day. Government of India, Ministry of Science and Technology has declared the theme for the National Science Day 2021 as Future of STI, Science, Technology, Innovation, Impacts on Education, Skill and Work. What is Science and Technology Innovation? Investment in Science Technology and Innovation (HTI) is essential for economic development and social progress. Research and development can foster sustainable development by building greener, more inclusive societies. What is the role of technology to innovation? Innovation only happens when you use technology to provide a real or perceived value to your customers. Let's talk about innovation in education system. Innovation in education means allowing imagination to flourish and not be afraid to try new things. Sometimes these new things fail, but it's often when they are a success. Without the right attitude, innovation would just be a word. And the act of education would miss out on some great... Now you will say, how does science and technology affect education? Impact of technology on education is that it has significantly changed how learning content is delivered. This means learners don't have to stick to the traditional learning and teaching process. Teachers can use animation, videos and other kind of content to enhance the learning process. And in the present situation of pandemic, there is the intense impact of technology on education. The entire system has gone digital. You all shall agree with me the positive effects of technology in education. Although there are loopholes, but then let's be positive and get focused on the positive effects. Change in student and teaching roles. Increase motivation and self-esteem. Technical skill. Accomplishment of more complex tasks. More collaboration with peers. Increase use of outside resources. Improve design skills and attention to audience. What is the role of science and technology in our daily life? Yes, friend, one cannot expect their life without science and technology revolving around them. Science and technology are extremely important in our daily life because they made our lives simpler, faster and more secure. Technology has made education itself fun-loving and easier. It has provided us options like smart classes, e-books, etc. Innovation in education encourages teachers and students to explore, research and use all the tools to uncover something new. It involves a different way of looking at problems 
and solving them. The thinking process that goes into it helps student development their creativity and their problem solving skills. Technology in education enables our children to adjust at our own pace of learning. The role that science and technology have played in improving the life condition across the globe is revealed. But the benefit has to be harvested maximum by everyone. Science and technology has made life a lot easier and a lot better with the advancement of medicines and analysis on diseases. Yes, dear friends, the essence of how science and technology contributes to society in the creation. Thank you. The school science faculty have put in a lot of efforts to organize this virtual celebration. Truly, there was a wide scope offered to us students to participate in various competitions like science dress-up, poster making, scientific tips and tricks, and project presentations. So, are you all ready to view our friends' skills and work? A 3, 2, 1. My name is Anjalina Dungdung. I am a mission specialist astronaut. I work with pilots to conduct experiments, launch, satellite and equipment. A job is tough but very helpful. Thank you. Hi, my name is Arpan Dungdung. I am a research scientist. We work in every area of science. We carry out experiment and investigation of medical research and pharmacology. Thank you. I am Dr. Fersagaman Makalanchya. Coronavirus bitter sorum is a zyto of moron yella. Hospital and of custard type. Hey, vaccine due local charge is alvar kurum. I am good as sucker and due by the crew. Hello, my name is Paul Anna Estebaro. I am in class 5. Today I am going to demonstrate 5 easy experiments using water. My first experiment is candle trick. For this, we will need a tray filled with water and a lit candle. In it, I will invert this glass, empty glass over the candle. Let's see what happens. Jailan Costa. I am in class 5. My roll number is 5. I am doing 5 water experiment. Water. Paper board. Look, the 
boat is floating. The lemon is leaning. Look, the lemon is floating. Myself, Melifa Fernandes. I am in class 5th. My roll number is 15. Here is my water experiment. Salt. 
Mix it carefully till it gets dissolved in water. Keep it for boiling. When it gets start boiling, we can see the water get evaporates slow by slow. At the last, all the water get evaporate. At the last, we can see purified white salt. This process is known as evaporation. Hello teacher, my name is Fabian Costa. I am standard three. My roll number is three. Today I am going to show my fire water experiment. Bowl of water. Stone. Now I am going to put the stone in the water. Look, the stone is sinking. Now I am going to put a dry leaf in the water. Look, the leaf is floating. Now I have a glass of water and a fruit of chiku. Now I am going to put the chiku in the water. Look, the chiku is sinking. Now I have a salt water. Now I am going to put the chiku in the salt water. Look, the chiku is floating. Thank you. I have filled two glass with water and I will put in one glass some salt. The one comes up and one goes down. Look, I have to cut a plate and I have I have light the candle. And I will put some watercolor. Look the reaction. The flames die and the water rises up. My name is Belly Pad and Jehio Kasta. I am in class 3. My experiments.
Janata Dina Dikosta. This is Kaju tree. This is Kaju nut. This is Kokum tree. This is Dry Kokum. My name is Krishala Stibiru. I am in standard 5th. My role number is 11. Today I am going to talk about the uses of Kaju apple. The Kaju is the state fruit of Goa. The color of the ripe Kaju is bright yellow, pink or red. The Kaju apple is a, is a fruit which, which has a tangy and sweet flavor. The Kaju apple can be eaten fresh. The Kaju apple is termed to release a juice called Nira, which is refreshing to drink. We also get Urak and Fernish from Kaju juice, which is used as a medicine or an alcohol drink. Kaju apple is used to make jams, syrups, candies and pickles. Thank you. Hi, this is Kokum tree. Today I am going to talk about uses of Kokum. When the Kokum is ripe, it gets pink purple color. It is round in shape and is sweet and juicy but acidic. The Kokum has a souring quality like tamarind and is used for curries, dals and vegetables. Kokum is used to make a juice called Sol curry. It is a local drink. Kokum is used in case of lateral lungs. Kokum is used useful for treatment of piles, dysentery, tumors, heart pains, and heart complaints. It is effectful against allergies due to insect bites, sun exposure, etc. Thank you. And rappers, I am from class 5th. This is the Kokum tree. Uses of Kokum. Kokum helps in fighting various bacterial infections. Kokum, Kokum is used to improve skin problems. It helps to regulate the blood sugar levels. Kokum butter helps in the treatment of Hi. Is, this is Kaju tree. Uses of Kaju apples. Kaju apples can be eaten fresh or made as an alcoholic drink. Kaju apple juice is used to treat fever and maintain stomach health. Kaju apple fruit is a powerhouse of protein and minerals and is rich in vitamin C. Thank you. My name is Elsa Costa. I am studying in standard 6. My roll number is 1. Today I am doing a circuit. We need cell, switch, wires and light. Cell wire is connected to the switch. Second wire is connected to the light. Second wire is connected to the switch. Let us look the bulb is glowing or not. Look, the bulb is glowing. Look, the bulb is not glowing. Thank you. My name is Vincent Kofta. I am studying in standard 6. My roll number is 2. Today I am going to make a circuit. To prepare a circuit, I am using cell, switch, 
bulb and wire. The cell wire is connected to the switch and the second wire is connected to the bulb wire. The, the second wire is connected to the switch. Now I am showing the bulb glows or not. Look, the bulb is glowing. Thank you. I am standard 6. My roll number is 8. Hello teacher, I am Vanity Vars from Standard 6. I am going to do the science assignment. The cell wire is connected to the switch. The switch wire is connected to the light. Thank you. Keep choosing cell. Now I'll take a bulb wire in the cell. Let's see if the bulb glows. Yes, the bulb glows because the current passes through the wire. Now I'll use a glass bangle. Let's see if the bulb glows. No, the bulb did not glow because the glass bangle is insulated. Now I'll use a gold ring. Let's see if the bulb glows. Yes, the bulb glows because a gold ring is conductor. Now I'll use a mud pot. Let's see if the bulb glows. No, the bulb did not glow because a mud pot is insulator. Now I'll use a metal key. Let's see if the bulb glows. Yes. The bulb goes because the metal key is conductor. So, cell, gold ring and metal key is conductor. And mud pot, bangle is insulator. Thank you. My name is Rehan Grishesh. I am standard 6. My roll number is 16. Material which allow electricity current to pass throughout then a good conduct. Of electricity. On the other hand, materials which do not allow electricity current to pass through them easily are poor. Conduct to electricity or in solution materials such as copper, aluminium, zinc, iron, mercury, sodium, shoulder conduct electricity. Where Materials such as rubber, plastic, wood, paper, thermocol, glass, cardboard, carbon dioxide, broom do not conduct electricity. Water, which we use in our day to day life, is also a good conduction of electricity. When the current flows in the Socket, the bulb glows when the current is not complete. The bulb does not glow. I will no show. Now show you some explanation of conduct and in solution of electricity. So let it begin.
do the job. My name is Elena Mascarenas. I study in class 6. My roll number is 18. Now I am going to show you a assignment. Math assignment. Now I took a wire. And I took a bulb and joined it to the wire. Now I am, I took a cell and I kept it on the wire. Now I took an other cell and I kept it on the first cell. Now I took up uh, this bulb and I kept, it, kept keeping it on the cell. Activity 1. Circuit using cell. Now, I will take a bulb, wires and a cell. Let's see if the bulb glows. Yes, the bulb glows. The cell is a conductor of electricity. Now, I will take a glass bangle. Let's see if the bulb glows. No, the bulb do not glow. The banger is an insulator. Now, I will take a metal key. Let's see if the bulb glows. Yes, the bulb glow. The metal key is an conductor of electricity. Conclusion, the bulb glows. When the object is a conductor of electricity, it does not glow. When the object is an insulator. Material which allow electric current to pass through them are a good Conductors of electricity. On the other hand, materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them easily are poor. Conductions of electricity or insulators materials such as copper and aluminum conduct conduct. Electricity where has materials such as rubber, plastic and wood do not conduct electricity when the current falls in the circuit. The bulb blows when the circuit is not complete and the bulb does not glow. I will, I will now show you some examples of conductors. Insulators, electricity, the bulb will glow if, if the circuit is complete and will not glow if the circuit is complete, incomplete. So let's begin with your experiment. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ailan Costa. Here we have tape, eraser, bangle, pencil, safety pin, bulb, nail, coin, battery, and scissor. Now we will check who is conduct to electricity.
इरेजर कॉइन नेल safety pin dangle pencil The things are which connect to electricity are coin, safety pin, pin, nail, bangle, eraser, pencil. Thank you. This is a coin. It conduct electricity. Electricity. This is a buckle. You do not conduct electricity. This is a pointer. It conduct electricity. This is a pencil. It do not con conduct electricity. This is a paper. The paper do. do not conduct electricity this is a nail the nail conduct electricity this is a sharpener the sharpener do not con conduct electricity This is a This is a pin conduct electricity electricity This is a rubber the rubber do not conduct electricity This is this is a key. The key conduct electricity. This is a plastic leaf. The leaf conducts electricity. The the cutter the cutter conduct elect. the cutter conduct electricity hello teacher my name is prashna kasta today i am making the compost to make a compost i am using the kitchen waste to make a compost i am using the container at the bottom of the container i make two holes to prepare a compost i am using banana skins एक शेल एक शेल एंड आई एम यूजिंग अ 
onion skin lemon skin and cabbage skin and i am putting some soil and i will mix it I will get the result after 45 days. Thank you. Hey girls, I passed the island studying in class 6. My room number is 5. Today I am doing compost. To make compost, I am using kitchen mix. I am using a pot. I am putting cabbage. I am putting vegetable leaves. I am putting banana skin. I am putting waste Pepsicorn. I am putting egg cells. I am putting mango skin. I am putting garlic skin. I am putting onion skin. I am putting fresh leaves. I am putting dried leaves. Garbage in, garbage out. Plastic bags are difficult and costly to recycle and most end up on landfill sites where they take around 300 years when animals accidentally ingest them. We make a minimum use of plastic bags. We reuse the bags whenever it is possible to do so without any adverse effect. We should use paper bags. We do not use plastic bags and store eatables. We do not throw plastic bags here and there after use. We never burn plastic bags and other plastic. And I am in class 10. I am presenting before you my excretory system. Excretory system consists of organs which remove metabolic waste and toxin from the body. In humans, this includes the removal of urea and other waste products. The urea is removed from the kidneys and the uh, solid waste is removed from the lysis intestine. Thank you. As you see that this is a working model of hydroelectric power plant. This is a turbine and this is a generator from here the water comes and this is a position. When the turbine rotates the electricity passes through the power station. Then the power station passes the electricity to the public. And here is a switch. Now the turbine is rotating and they generating electricity. Here the first the power station is generating electricity afterwards the electricity passes through the wires and it passes through the houses. Thank you. I'm going to present you the uh, the project my project the eye and the colorful world. The eye is the most sensitive and uh, valuable organ of the body which provides us in which pro help us to see the colorful world and the colors around us. 
it consists of the pupil which uh, the, and the iris which help the which help us to uh, which which help uh, which adjust changes the size of the size of the pupil it also consists of the uh, cornea which the light enters through the cornea uh, cornea and you know, get displays on the light sensitive screen called the retina it also consists of the ciliary muscle the function of the ciliary muscle is that the change in the curvature of the focal length and uh, of the curvature of the eye lens and thus changes focal length the the human uh, eye has uh, three defects called the myopia, presbyopia and hypermetropia a person suffering from uh, press, uh, press myopia can see nearby object clearly but cannot see distant object distinctly. The causes of uh, myopia are elongation of the eyeball and excessive coverage of the eyelids. This defect can be corrected by using a concave lens. Hypermetropia. Uh, hypermetropia can be corrected by using a uh, Convex Thank you, Jeff. Hi, my name is Alan Disoza. This is my model of eye. It has optic nerve, rectus muscle, la lacrimal gland, sclera, iris, and pupil. The human eye is a spherical structure which fits in the short in the skull bone. Pupil is the round black spit in in front of eye, iris is made up of muscle. Retina works like a screen or camera film. Lens light just behind the pupil. Retina is full of light and color sensitive cells. The human eye can clearly see the nearly object as well as the object on infinity. Thank you. Hello, my name is Anshar Dikosta. I am studying in St. Francis Xavier. High school Makadana. As you can see, this is the model of hydrodextrity plant. Water is also called hydro, hydro when electricity is generated from flowing water, it is known as hydroelectricity, which is recycled by the sun by the process of water cycle. In modern hydropower plant, electricity is generated by turbine and generator. Mechanical energy produced by moving water spins the turbine. This turbine is connected to a generator which further pro produces energy with when turbine moves. Hydro dams use the potential energy from the dam water to produce electricity. High range dams are constructed to obstruct the flow of water and thereby collects water in light reservoir. The water is carried to the turbine through pipes where kinetic energy is converted or transformed into potential energy. The reservoir is refilled by the rain. So hydropower is renewable source of energy. Thank you. Hi friends, my name is Valerie Vaz and I am studying in class 10. Today, as you can see, this is my project and assignment. And both are on excretory system in human being. So, the excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, the left renal artery, left renal vein, aorta, vena cava, urinary bladder, urethra, and a pair of ureters. So, you must be thinking, why the urine is produced? The urine is produced in the kidneys to filter out the waste products from the blood, which passes through the ureters, then the urinary bladder which is stored here till it passes through the urethra. Thank you. Morning, my dear teachers, I am going today. I am going to explain you know, on my solar cooker. This is a solar cooker which uses the direct energy of the sunlight to heat or cook for food materials. Many of the solar cookers are in use, currently in use, relative and or inexpensive with low tech device. As is, and some are as powerful as an expensive or some are traditional stove. Many of and large scale solar cookers can cook for 100 people because they do not use fuel or cost anything to operate. 
many non-profit company organization are promoting their use worldwide because to reduce the fuel cost and to and for air pollution and to help the reduction of deforestation and desertification so the cooker surface are blackened because to black surface absorb more heat and they are inside it the, they use mirrors mirrors because it focuses the rays of the sunlight to achieve a higher temperature so this is the first mirror which will get the direct rays of the sunlight and which will reflect in this box in this box in this box these are the uh, mirrors which will focus the rays of the sun to achieve a higher temperature thank you a warm welcome to you teacher Cynthia I am Beryl John Souza class student from class 10 here I am giving you a small presentation on an eye model an eye is the most valuable significant and sensitive organ in our body which enables us to see the wonderful world and its colors. Now I am going to showcase you some parts of the eye. As you can see here, this outer area is known as the crystalline, and the black color, bigger size ball is known as the eyeball. Then the pupil, iris, cornea, and the retina, which is behind here. Finally, thank you for watching my presentation. Thank you very much.
my name is Felistan Carvalho. Today I will be making one experiment. The name of my experiment is how to make your own water pump. And these are the required things. First you have to take an empty bottle. Take a nail and heat it up. Then make a hole into the bottle. Then keep it aside. Take the straw and place inside the bottle. Using the candle, pack the hole. Now keep the glass ball and remove the cap and fill the bottle with water. Take a balloon. Blow it and place on the mouth of the bottle. So here you can see that the water from the bottle is coming out and filling in the glass bowl. How this happened? Pressure is created when air is trapped inside the balloon. By releasing the air from the balloon into the bottle, water is forced out through the straw. Creating a water pump. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Joyval Clement. Now I am going to perform a science experiment. As you can see, there is a bowl filled with water. I am going to take a pair of matchsticks and dip it into the water. After dipping it properly, I am going to remove them out and light it with a matchbox. As you can see, it does not light. Now I take other pair of matchstick and apply it with a colgate. After applying them, I will wipe it properly with a cloth. Now I am going to try it uh, to light with a matchbox. As you can see, they lighter. Thank you. Yes, friends, we celebrate National Science Day to appreciate the efforts of individuals and organizations who are working to make India reach the peaks of science and technology and make the lives of people better with the help of science and technology. Today, on this great day of National Science Day, Let's pledge that we will do a bit to make science and technology better every coming day. With this note, we thank our respected manager of the school, Father Kevin Rodriguez, Headmistress, Madam Linda Fernandez, the science faculty, the teaching and non-teaching staff, and the most important, all Chota scientists of our school, whose education, skills and work made this virtual celebration a great success. God bless us all and keep learning science.